You know what the normal practice is for karma dating? You take the median. Yeah. You know where the median is? Yes. It's about 600, 610. Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. But there's still a margin so, of error. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. The margin of error goes to 640. The, the, 645. Yes. 645. And that's still before we've banked the pile of the grand. Matters. University of Birmingham was radio carbon dated to between 568. Yeah. So that's before we found that we contradict your, your narrative. No problem. To 645. Okay. You've just refuted the Islamic narrative. I, You've I just refuted it. When did Uthman compile the five books of the Quran? When did he do it? Bro, bro, six, four, five. Yeah. Close enough. It's Patricia Crow. Died 2015, age 70. You know she got death threats, right? Yeah, no problem, so what? No problem, so what? Dude, to do with me. dude. I, I didn't set it in. No, all my point is, is maybe you got to think like, half. Maybe the there is some kind of bias here, and that's why they don't want her to speak. I can say that oh, the little lines didn't happen. By the way, I can take my okay. Did Bukhari know Muhammad? Did Bukhari know Muhammad? In his money spree. Right. Okay. All of the writings that we have as manuscripts were from people who knew Jesus. Everybody, what subjective. is the reason for having a, a number of stones to wipe your behind with? What is the reason? Bro, it doesn't say you have to be stones. It doesn't matter. It's it about does being say stones. It's it about being thorough. Okay, being so thorough. you're deriving a principle. Yeah. Right, yeah. so you don't have to follow it then? No, it's about being thorough, bro. That's right, the right. idea. So, but the hadith said very clearly that you should use three stones. The hadith stones. also says the Prophet Sallallahu used to ride a camel. Do I have to ride a camel as well? No, but it, wait, wait, no, no. It doesn't say that you have to though, does it? He did though. But he don't, did say that you have him, to use three stones. Did the hadith say you have to use three stones? Don't we follow an example? Does the hadith say you have to use three stones? I don't know the hadith. It what doesn't hadith? even know the hadith. hadith? That, there is a hadith that tells you that you are instructed to use a certain amount of stuff. Alright, let's find it then. I agree with you, yeah. Would you be friends with him? Would you be friends with him? Uh, I'd be, I'm, I'm allies with my brothers Why? in monarchy. It, it says don't take them down. Allies so what you with my brothers in monarchy. Yeah, so when I'm combating the enemy, you're not taking allies from the Jews. Yeah. 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 You're not taking yeah. allies from the Jews. 100% you with me. Yeah. 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 So you can't be allies yeah. according to your yeah. own yeah. good. Yeah. No, 100%. 100%. When we are, when we are so what you're doing is you're going against Allah's word now. When we're combating the false man God religion. Where's it say that? Where's it say that? Where's it say that? Where's it say this, bro? What do you mean tafsir? How many tafsir have What do you mean tafsir? How many tafsir have you heard? Why do you have You know what? If you want to talk about tafsir, I'll hold you. I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm really not. Right, here we go. So this is uh, the man said to him, your companion, meaning the prophet, even teaches you how to go to the toilet. I said yes. He forbade us from facing the kibla when defecating or urinating, or cleaning ourselves with our right hands, or to use less than three stones. Okay, that, that sounds like you. you have That's Sahi. Sahi No, he said that you're not allowed to use less than. I actually don't disagree with this, so I don't know what your point is. Uh, you're saying stones are, 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 are uh, old-fashioned. I'm saying there's no logical reason to use just three stones or to even use stones. Is, is that well, yeah, okay, that's fine then. That's fine enough. That's fine enough. But is that going to make me not Sunan, in the bathroom? Sunan and Masai, uh, Sunan Masai, Hadith number 41. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh my, what is this? He's going to kill the Jews, by the way. Sunan and Masai, uh, companion meaning the Prophet, even teach you how to go to the toilet. Oh, Masai, Masai, yeah. Yeah. He said he forgave us when he was in the Kibla. Masai has a lot of weakness in it, by the way. Huh? Masai has a lot of weakness in it. Can you find him Bukhari or Muslim? Well, you're saying the Sunnah has weakness in it? No, I just want you to show me Bukhari or Muslim. Do you accept the Sunnah? I accept the Sunnah. You said all six are the highest authentication of the Sunnah. Excuse me, one sec. I just want you to show me where this is authenticated, who it comes from, and is it mentioned in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim? Right, so you're saying the Sunnah is only Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim? Show me that. I didn't say that. I'm showing him Sunan Masai, a Sahih no graded. Problem. I, I agree, this is one of the six books, no and problem. Right, I okay, so it's authentic then. Oh, it's authentic. I don't know who authenticated it. I don't know. I'm not a scholar. If it's so, I want to see if it's, if it's, it's Why are you Sunan questioning Masai. the Sunnah? I'm not questioning the Sunnah. You're literally, you're literally saying, you, I, I said, look, it's I'm one of the six books. It's been graded Sahih. I'm asking and he's saying, you evidence. First of all, what you're trying to say here doesn't actually prove anything for you. You understand? No, it does. It proves the illogical nature of following the Sunnah. Let young lady speak, please. If you're correct, then you can easily prove. You can easily prove. So he literally just has proof. Right, yeah. No, no, yeah. I want from our Sunan most authentic sources. I okay, want this. Is, he doesn't want to get it. Yes. Can you? Yes. Can you? Yes. Then do it. Okay, here it is. Sunan Nasai is one of the six authenticated books of Islam, of a hadith. 
So Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Ibn Majid, Sunan An Nasai, and there's one more. Two more, sorry. Oh no, mind it. So I've just done it. You can't reject any other tafsirs I bring. So we're gonna break the shots of power. I know you want to. Yeah, this does not mean we have Well, no, this is this is the most authentic source of narrations about what their prophet did. No. I know that I no longer want to marry this person, or even show you to marry her. One second. Okay. Why? Do you know in Islam that you can have sex with four wives, right? Do you know that Islam? Talking about my family. The best supposed you act is the best example of my wife. Why is he having? No, it isn't. Why is he having? Show me a source. Show me a source. One of our earliest scholars. He says the only reason you would have to marry someone pre-Islam is if there is an opportunity you're going to miss. So, for instance, if it's going to strengthen relations between a tribe or a country, things that would happen in the past, then yes, that would... Jews don't support you. Well, I'm not a Jew. No, no, no. Jews don't support you either. No, they think I'm going to heaven. Jews believe Muslims are going to heaven. They don't think you're going to heaven. You don't believe in God. Educated Jews will not think you're going to heaven. Educated Jews are the ones who say we go to heaven. Educated Jews are the ones who say we go to heaven. As we are the same with them, because they we believe they believe in one God. You believe in three You gods. believe in a God that has body parts. Okay, but he's one God. There you are then. Uh, he's one God. Do the Jews believe in a God that has body parts? Well, that's up to them. Well, um, they believe in one God. You believe in three gods. Just because you, you share one, you share in the same idea of one God, does not mean it's the, the same God. You believe in three and gods. Is mean... no, Paul wait, is where's a liar. Where's Paul is a liar. Paul is a liar. Who? Paul is a liar. I don't quote Paul. He lied under I'm quoting the actual gospel. I'm quoting the gospels. Quote quoting the gospels. Okay, but you should quote Paul. Okay, so he changed the he just admitted. Okay, so I quote the gospel. No, he doesn't know anything. Paul didn't never change anything. Also, I'll change the covenant. Al Kurta being quoted Paul as an authentic disciple of Isa. You understand that Al-Qur to be in his sources quotes Paul as an authentic uh, uh, disciple of Jesus. No, what Paul is, is a liar. Uh, okay. Top the bottom. Throw Al-Qur to be under the bridge. Out he goes. Out he goes. Paul's goes. Paul's yeah, get rid of him. Paul's finished. There's yeah, nothing Paul has to offer you're, me. You're destroying Paul has nothing to offer you. I don't, I don't believe you. anything Paul has to say. I don't believe a word from Paul. I'm not talking about Paul. I'm talking about Tafsir. I'm going to show you Tafsir where it says Paul was amongst us who followed Jesus Christ. What are you going to say? Jesus was gay. But Jesus... Why was he probably gay? His whole message was manipulated. Why was he probably gay? Maybe he started... So why is your God saying Paul is gay? Why is your God saying... No. Why is God saying that? Because God knows better. So the Tafsir... So your Quran and Tafsir are right. When it comes to the Bible, it's right. Right. But they're talking about Paul. Yeah, Who's, but, Paul? But, Who's Paul? Who's Paul? I don't know. Do you know Paul's last Who's name? Who's Paul in the Quran? What's Paul's last name? No, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Okay, well, what's wait, wait, Sean's no, last name? Paul, Paul would have been referred to as Paul of Tassos. How could you believe something uh, that has no chain of narration? Yeah. Brothers, you guys need to start thinking Wait, we have chains of narration. Think, criti think critically. We have Polycarp of Irenaeus. Polycarp of the disciple John. I just gave you a chain of narration. From the Apostle John. We have Polycarp when we have his writings. John a witness? Yes. John's a witness of Christ's crucifixion. Yes, yes, John's, 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 John writes about it in his gospel. John's not a witness. John is the John's not a witness. My gosh, mate. No, you no, know no, literally no. nothing about what no, you're no, saying. No, no, no. I don't know much about Christianity, but I know, I know, I've, I've I know John's not a witness. Okay, so, John's not a witness. Okay, so despite the fact his gospel he says witness, he is. then he saw something that was that misguided him. If he is a witness, then he saw something You know in Islam you believe that the crucifixion never happened, right? You believe that it was, they took an innocent believe, person and made someone, him crucified. Yeah, 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 but I don't believe he was innocent. I believe there was a reason it happened. You know, you know that Ibn Kathir says it was probably one of Jesus' disciples? And, and, he's martyr, and he's a martyr. And we're Wait, what? Now. You, just, <laughs> you just said he wasn't an innocent person. No, 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 and then when I say, look, it was this guy, you got always the martyr. Even if he was, even if he was. So he was innocent then? Even if he was. Mate, you, 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 know you literally was? flip flopped you know every second. Was? Yeah, but that's not um, important to my religion. Uh, not it depends. Ibn Kathir says it was a particular disciple of Jesus. The reason he didn't specify Jesus. this man as uh, no, the Quran that, who it was is because it's not important to my teachings. There are the narrations and stories where they say they know who it was. But there are also others that say it was Judas. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Does it matter to me? You know, your Quran says that. Wait, wait, your Quran in Surah 4 Ayah. Uh, does it make a one difference five to me? seven? Yeah, it does because How? the Quran is wrong. Because your Quran says in one five eight that they would differ about it. They would differ about the crucifixion. Okay, Every ask? single Christian says that Jesus was crucified and rose again. No, no, Every no, no, single no, no, Muslim no, no, has no, different no, opinions about who was on they, the cross, whether he was sinless, cross. whether it was Judas and uh, betrayed Jesus. They have no idea. Every Christian has a different story. Well, right. Every Christian ask, has a different story. Ask a Christian story. whether or not Jesus died on the cross and rose three days later. Ask every single. But they don't know exactly the, the course of events that happened. I know that for a fact. We no don't Christian differ knows. about the crucifixion. We, we don't, don't differ, differ about Jesus oh, so you're, dying you're on the cross. Wrong. You're outright wrong. Yeah, you're on the cross. 
Yeah. Yeah. All gospel stations are crucified and rose again. All of them. And the letters of Paul and everything. Okay, but your early church fathers weren't even sure if he was God. So what does that have to do? Why has that got anything to do with this crucifixion? Fair enough, fair enough. You literally just You guys have no idea. You guys have no idea what's going on. You differ. Okay, so Irenaeus thought that Jesus was God. Polycarp thought that Jesus was God. Are you telling me that? Paul thought that he was a second God. Paul thought he was the son of God. Yeah, there are there are writings that say Paul was the son of God. Show me, show me, show me. No? What would this do for you if I show you? Well, show me. Show me. It says. Uh, what would this no, do? Show me Paul's writings. Where it says, says he thought Jesus was. By the way, Jesus was a second God. Show me. Yeah, show me that. Yeah. You say you're, you're you're pivoting so much because you you when you get refuted on one thing, no, you have to no, jump no. to another. Just because you have a Christian who says Jesus died on the cross every and he's one. God. No, not every single. Find one. me a single Christian in this park who is a Christian who says that Jesus did not die and rise again. Show me. Show me a single Christian. You won't find one Christian that says that. No, not a single Christian. Anyone who said that is not a Christian. Obviously. Obviously. There is not a single church that would teach that as a doctrine. The Quran is riddled with difficulties and issues. No, it's 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 very very. It's it's a miracle in itself. Really? It's a miracle in itself. It honestly is. How 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 so? You guys believe the Earth is six thousand years old? No, we don't. Show me a single verse in the Bible that says that. Show me a single verse. You guys believe the moon split in half? Yeah, we do. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you believe the sun sets in the morning? You know, you know, you know. There's no evidence for that, right? In fact, NASA has uh, confirmed that that has not happened. Really? Yeah. Because there's, there's yeah, you, of, because, because atheists keep asking them. He does videos yeah. on this, and he, he yeah. showed us that there, there's actually NASA research saying the opposite. Of what no, you no, just no. Said. NASA. What they do is they take the idea that there are craters, and they go, ah, that must be evidence of the moon split. No serious scientist believes that it's evidence of the moon split. Not a single one. So how could how could a religion also that also is, that is that is completely cut into thousands and thousands of different de uh, denominations. Be a truth so is Islam. The Sufi, the Shia, the Abadis. Yeah, but we are 95% Okay, uh, Salafi, Hanafi, Malaki, Shafi, Hanbali. What, what sect did you say? Do you know? Muhammad yeah, yeah, which one of the sects? The, the one that no, he didn't say that. He yeah, didn't say that. He, he said that how many sects were there going to be? 73 sects. And how many, how many are correct? Yeah, okay, one, one, one of them. Well, would it not be the 95%? Sam? Would it not be the 95%? I don't know. Who knows? Well, let's you, think. Let's think. Explain to Muhammad why, why you said. Why would God allow everyone else to go to heaven? Why didn't Muhammad say it would be the Sunnis? Why didn't you say that? Why, why, why didn't Muhammad say it would be the Sunnis? How do you know it's not Shias? Because Sunni wasn't even a, a term back then, I don't think. Right, so he didn't it's mention the It's just the following the of the prophet. He was getting revelation from God, but he didn't know the sex that would follow after. He went, no, no of course it, it wasn't important for him to know. It wasn't important. Just like important. Jesus didn't know about what sex came out there. It was important for him to say Jesus didn't even know it was called Christianity. There were 73 sects, right? Jesus didn't even know. One of those 73 sects we said, how do you know you're it's not important. It's not important. I've been told to follow the prophet. No, 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 no. I've been told to follow the prophet. So as long as I follow the prophet's actions, I'm good. The prophet's actions are the most hard. Wait, 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 wait. It might be the Shias. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. And you, and you. Shias self harm. This is harm. No, no, no. But that's a major point. Muhammad didn't say. These guys are putting themselves. No, no, no. You're not allowed to harm yourself. Muhammad didn't say. Muhammad didn't say. Muhammad didn't say that Shias were the Shias. So you're telling me the Quran doesn't say that you shouldn't, you shouldn't. And, you, and you're making an assumption. You're saying that all Shias so far. I don't believe that. I don't believe that all. Shias. No, no, no. But it's not it's, all of them. No, but it is. It's, it's, it's so it's whole... likely that Shias could be the sect that are saved, the Quran's man. Why? Why? Because possible. Muhammad says there's out of 73 sects, there'll be one that will be saved. Which one is that? Is it actually saved? The one that's upon the the Quran and the Sunnah. Right. The way Which of the Quran. The way of the Quran. The ones that's from the Quran itself. The Quran. Absolutely. Yeah. Is the Hadith saying that? What it says, the ones who are coming and the sunnah. That's what happens. Yeah, it says you need to hold on to my, the Quran and my sunnah. Does that mean that like those who accept course. other things will sure not part of the sex? Not that hadith, it's another hadith. We use two hadiths to understand each other. Uh, that's how we understand it. That's what you would tell us to do when we read the New Testament, no? I mean, there's no, there's no you trinity. can't like, oh, what we believe in what you believe. Or what you're believing. You're saying, the, the, the hadith is saying that there'll be 73 sex and then one of them will be saved. Yeah. How do you know which one's going to be saved? The one that holds on to the Quran. No, you're, you're just making But there are other parts within, within the Sunnis that don't just hold to those, they hold to others. Why the Prophet if it's not true? Ask Muhammad. You see Allah, you see Allah, obey Allah, you see Allah, obey the Prophet. Nice. That's what it is. How does Shias not expect it? The Shias have their, they still believe in one God. They just think something funny happened with Allah. They're transmission. Your transmission has like a 300 year gap. Your transmission has 200 years. No, it doesn't. I was just. What was the Habib Al-Khari written? 
Sorry? Remember Sahih Abu Bakari? Abu was born without one ATCE? Right? No. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, born, born. Yeah, 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 he was born then. He compiled it in about 201, 202. Abu Bakari, we know who his teacher was. Ahmed ibn Hanbal read his entire book. Ahmed ibn Hanbal is from even earlier. He was born in the 700s. Do you know that whether Bakari compiled his own hadiths? Is that he chose which ones he thought were authentic and he got rid of the ones he thought? Right, so how do you know he didn't get rid of the authentic ones? Because we have no transmission of all of them. No, but yeah, but like, according to him, he is the one of whom says that the, or, this is authentic. That's why he gives his name authentic to it. Right. Right. But he is one of them. Do you understand? In other words, he could have come across an narration that could have been legit, and he would have been like, I don't like that one. I cast it away. And you would never have known. How do you know? Because he said it. Because you're using the exact same Okay, so you have to believe you have to believe Bukhari on Bukhari's word. You believe Bukhari because you said that he collected 100,000 hadiths. That's what you just said. I don't believe Bukhari. I'm just saying that according, according, to, according to the narrations that you believe, yeah, Bukhari collected a ton of narrations. Yeah, he then decided which ones. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, nine volumes of time. He yes, yes. So he was in charge of his own authority to take the ones he thought were authentic, based off his nad, and those that weren't. You're taking it on the authority of him because he right, could have thrown right. ones away that were authentic. Yeah, because we don't believe that it was, it was a very said. stringent uh, process. Yeah. Yeah. He presented it to the caliph, the Abbasid caliph. But he was the one who decided if he got rid of it or not. You don't understand. There were yeah. circles of tradition all across Arabia. But who collated it? In Indonesia, in all these places, bro. But my point is, is that you are taking it on the faith of Bukhari. You have to believe in Bukhari. We have earlier, we have earlier manuscripts, hadith as well, that conform with Bukhari. There could have been others that Bakari went, no, and then you would never know it. Okay, fine, no There you are then, so you have to take it on Bakari as well. One second. But we also have Muslim bin Hajjaj. Yes, and any of those could have done exactly the same thing. As Bukhari, yes. Right. So you have to take it. They go together, now you see, okay, this was By the way, Bukhari has more hadith. He has more hadith, by the way, Bukhari. Which, by the way, demonstrates that he must have had a wealth of it. Yes, and he got rid of a lot of it. Yes, he did, because he knew a lot of it. Some could be some could not be relevant. Fabrication, well, fabrication, well, fabrication isn't necessary a reason enough to get rid of the hadith. Remember, remember, why, why would you need hadith? It's not critical to the Then why do you have hadith that's fabricated by the Quran? No, 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 because it was important at that time. Don't let it, don't let it jump. Then why do you still have it? One second. You're arguing against yourself. No, 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 no. So, when it comes to Bukhari, Bukhari was someone who only wanted Sahir in his in his compilation. I know. But my point is, is that you are still facing it on the basis of him. But remember, we have entire books of fabrication. We have entire books of, of, of weak hadith. I know, yeah, we have entire books yeah, yeah. of morsal hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it doesn't. It's not so far fetched to believe that yes, he had all these things and only good in Sahih. What's the difference? It's a very. It's far fetched. It's far fetched to believe that he never made any mistakes nor intentionally got rid of a hadith he did not like. No one said he didn't make any mistakes. Remember in Islam, we have no, 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 no. If you don't trust in the authority uh, of the uh, Sunnah, then you're not in Islam. This was written. If you reject out. Right. If you That's outright right. reject uh, hadith, just yeah. you have left the form. Okay, so if I show you hadith, you reject anything. Okay. okay, so anything I show you just from... Just the camera, so you know. Oh, right, right. Just just okay. So if I show you anything from the six authenticated, um, uh, most authentic hadiths, you will accept everything in them. No, I didn't say that. Didn't say that. Well, you have to though, right? right. If it's mutawatir, right. right. mutawatir means right. that if it was mass transmitted. Okay. Okay. So we'll find it in Muslim, we'll find it in Bukhari, we'll probably then find it in Sunan Abu Dawood, and we'll probably then find it in Tirmidhi. Because he was the latest as well. Okay. 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 Yeah. But my understanding is, is the sooner, yeah, yeah, but the sooner is the highest level of most authentic sunnah is those six books, those six writings. Yes, of course. So you have to accept all of them to say that you accept the sunnah at the minimum. So you should accept all of them, yes? Those six. It depends if they are if they are mass transmitted. But now, so you're questioning them again. Why are you questioning the sunnah? Because you must question, you must question everything. Muhammad said you can't. If something is in Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari, 
it is Mutu West. It's not Lidl's way. It's Mutu West. No, it can be on the authority of uh, Bukhari alone, and you would still accept it. No problem. Because Bukhari no, is I, an authority to you. One yeah. sec, Chris. I would expect to see it in the other six books as well. Okay, at least so some of those. Books. Books. You, you at least some of those books. I would. You're, you're holding the you're holding the hadith to such a standard that was said, not no common in the earlier. We always went by Ishma. We always went by the consensus. This no, is yeah, yeah, but the consensus is those six books are all authentic. You went by consensus. Yeah, but your consensus is all those books are authentic. So you need to as part of the sunnah accept those six books. There are there are weak hadith in Sunan Abu Dawood, Ibn Majah, in 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 the Sahih. There are weak hadith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hassan. And more but just because they're weak doesn't mean that you don't accept them. Huh? Just because they're weak. Yes, not necessarily. You're also right. Even, even if there is a da'if in Surah Nabi Dawood, you would still accept it because it is a no Muslim. Other places. Is he saying? You guys don't like to corroborate. You guys don't like to corroborate. It's basic history. Basic history. Some of the most authenticated and most respected imams of Islam had said it was as part of the Sunnah. And then you're saying no, no, sir. But that's a problem. Still weak. There are still weak hadiths. I know it's weak, but you're still. Daif hadith is still used in jurisdiction. You understand that? I understand what you're saying. There you are then. So why? Why are you trying to throw it away? Not just like that. Not like oh, this one hadith. I know. I know not just like. Yeah, let's use it. I know not just like that because jurisdiction is another beast in itself. But they still say that daif hadith. No, but okay, I know, well, I know, I know there. from looking into it that they still quote Daif Hadith as, being, as making as a, uh, an argument for so certain listen, jurisdiction. Listen, listen, listen. Right, yeah. that is because that Daif Hadith is still considered the Sunnah. That's why among the Buddha scholars, there's ikhtilaf on some of these issues as well, because they won't accept those Hadiths. You see what I'm saying? So these small things, how do you pray? Where do your hands go? No, no, no. They won't accept things about rocks, mate. You've got nothing to actually undermine our. You've got nothing to undermine our actual religion. Your religion, your, your religion is based on texts that came 200 years later that were on the authority of particular people and on their authority alone. Do you know anything about authority alone? Yes. So what's the point of having this consensus? What's the point? There, there was a lot of stuff there. 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 There was consensus after. Yeah. But you first have to accept that what Bukhari did was completely correct okay, but without how mistake or error. After, if, the, if everyone was on an individual basis, um, no, how could it, it starts be? as individuals. Okay. But Kari went, he compiled the hadith okay, so into his like books. This, it went like that and filtered down. Yes. Okay. The question is, is if the, any of those pillars falls, though, okay. the entire thing falls. Did anything fall? Because the Kari himself may not necessarily have got all the authentic hadith. He may have got rid of a hadith he did not like. We have to take it on faith that he did. Do you know who Imam Muslim Khan was an Arabic. One of my early, early, early scholars. And right? when he, he was, was like his his teacher. He found it set in his free his teacher's American teacher knew the prophet. So you and was a Sahaba. By the, the way, he was a he was from the third generation. So we were very close to him. We have manuscripts of his muwatta that he wrote, and it conforms with Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, which demonstrates us a tradition that goes all the way back. Which isn't the same you can say about old tradition, to be honest. Keep keep it. Wait, listen to me. Keep it inside. My argument. Listen. Listen, my argument is that you could have lost things and you have no way of knowing. So there could have been other narrations that were also just as authentic, if not more authentic, that the Bukhari did not include. You take it on faith that that didn't happen. I don't believe that happened. There you are then. It's based on faith. You base your religion is based on faith. Yeah, but now you, you have to accept. Yeah, but now you look at the book. No, because I, mine is based on the manuscript. That's what the faith is. Yeah. Mine is not faith. No. At one point, we can all make these conspiracies up. I can say that, oh, the lunar lines didn't happen. I can take Okay, did Bukhari know Muhammad? Did Bukhari know Muhammad? Right, okay. All of the right that we have as manuscripts were from people who knew Jesus. No, no, no. no. Really? Sorry, really? Or really? oh, who knew people who knew no. Jesus? Who are you talking about? Really? <laughs> Paul knew, Paul knew Peter. Peter. Yeah. That's the Apostle John didn't meet Jesus. He says he did. Jesus. By the way, the one who wrote John definitely yeah. didn't meet Jesus. Why? Because there's no way Jesus would be speaking in that way. He was not Greek. The way John is written. How you know it wasn't Greek? Hey, yes, yes. Are you looking big every time I see you, man? Prove to me that John didn't speak Greek. Sorry, Jesus didn't speak Greek. Jesus didn't speak Greek. No, I'm not saying he won't understand it. Just before you jump on that, okay. I'm not saying he won't understand it. Right. I'm saying he didn't write it in the stoic, almost way that demonstrated. I'm saying he spoke Greek. So you are saying? Yes. I'm saying he wouldn't have spoken in that way. Why? Because that's just not what he did. He would have spoke Aramaic. That's not an argument. Aramaic and Hebrew. Yes. He would have been bilingual. You understand that? So now you need to demonstrate to me why he didn't know the common language of the time. Because remember, John himself was a carpenter. Right. Right. He was not a stoic philosopher. Right. No way he could write like that. Greek was the common language of the time. Do you know how long John lived? 
It's a country. Yeah, he lived to 110 apparently or something. No, he lived, he lived for about 1900 years. Okay, but his gloss is written one. So according to you, he could never have learned to write. That was just impossible. Your argument assumes that John never learned to write. I'm, I'm saying the way he speaks is terrible. No, just listen, listen. Wrong. The way he speaks the Gospel of John. Yeah, yeah. We don't see that type of writing in any of the Gospels before. I know, because he's a unique person. And he didn't use that as a source. No, he's, he's saying things, he's yeah. quoting Jesus in situations yeah. that no one else says, I am the bread of life. I know, I, I know, because he's doing it. I am, the, I am, listen, I am. Listen, listen, listen. Why doesn't anyone say what? that? Perhaps because he wrote his gospel was to address the issues of people that were questioning Christ's Christology, which is totally what happens. happens. And that's fake. And that's fake. And that's fake. And that's fake. But John knew Jesus. Bakari didn't know Muhammad. That is the end of it. Bakari didn't know Muhammad. Bakari never met Muhammad. I think he wrote this. I think he wrote that. I explained to you that our transmissions got all the way back. I gave you the example. Again, you're still taking it on faith that he didn't take out hadith. Our faith is There you are, man. So it's not Uthmanic then. You've just destroyed your faith. Oh my days. You've just destroyed the face. When did Uthman write the Quran? When did he compile it? 652. You're saying it happened before it. So your, your Islamic narrators are wrong. It's not an exact science. Bro, the manuscript in Birmingham goes to five something. Yes, which is a big problem for you. No, it's not because there's a, there's a margin of error. You're saying it's pre Uthmanic. Chris, there's a margin of error. Yes, and that margin of error is from 570 to about 630. Exactly. When did Uthman no, 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 compile it? Not yes, it is. That's the art. Go on, give it up. Answer my question. Oh, goodness me, man. And don't run. Hold your the even Islamic scholars What's say you shouldn't say it's Uthmanic. Because if you say it's Uthmanic, then you've just said that the Islamic narrations are wrong. The Birmingham manuscript, yeah? Yeah, the Birmingham manuscript. So 18, 19, and 20. All right, University of Birmingham was radio carbon dated to between 568. Yeah, so that's before we found that would contradict your, your narrative. No problem, to 645. Okay, you've just refuted the Islamic narrative. You've just refuted it. When did Uthman compile the five books of the Quran? When did he do it? Bro, bro, 645 yep. is close enough, bro. It's close enough. And by the way, it doesn't have to be Close enough. Bro, it doesn't have to be a fan. By the way, it's not Uthman, so it's the, Jazzy. It's so it's Jazzy, pre Uthman. Bro. Yes, it's so, Jazzy. So there were, there, were other, uh, there were other Qurans that were fully compiled before Uthman did it. You're in danger just what we're here, bro. Yeah, You're in danger. Yeah, yeah, it is. Wow, it is. okay. It is the um, Codex of Hassa. Yeah, so it's Hassa that one, is it then? Yeah, is it that one? Yeah, I don't know if it's that one, but others could have been made of it, possibly. Or other pages. We don't know that it was a full codex. See what I'm saying? You're gonna have problems, mate. You're gonna have problems. Uh, what's the problem here? Islamic don't scholars don't, don't want people to say it's pre Uthmanic because that contradicts the Islamic history. It's Hijazi script. I know it's Hijazi it's script, Hijazi. early script, or whatever. It but you just told me it's, it, you just told me it predates Uthman. I said, I said it doesn't. I said it. Do, do you know what the normal practice is for carbon dating? You take the median. Yeah. You know where the median is? Yes. It's about six hundred six ten. Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. But there's still a margin so, of error. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. The margin of error goes to six forty. The mar the six forty five. Yes. Six forty five. And yeah. that's still before Uthman compiled the Quran. Doesn't matter. But by the way, no one says this. By the way, no one says about radio carbon dating. You take the median. It's not no, it's common care. practice. That, yeah, because you know how we don't wouldn't give you the margin for error. Do you know what standard deviation is? Yes, I know. Okay, okay, so you understand then. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So you understand then that you take both extremes and you look for what would be the average, it's a yes? Carbon dating is a lot more complicated than that, isn't it? Okay, so you, you quote it carbon dating, and then when I showed you all the problems with it, all of a sudden it's not oh, it's, no, it's a bit it's made any error. It's a margin of error. So, okay, margin of error. Maybe it was made in the five hundreds then. Are you gonna accept that? Which one? Maybe it was made in the 500s. No, I won't. It goes exactly, you won't. Right? <laughs> it goes against the narrative. Obviously, dude, dude. It's proven by consensus and is mad. No, mate, it. mate mo there is a growing consensus among scholars now that they reject the Islamic narrative. Do you understand that? Who? Who? Give me one. Uh, Tom Holland. Patricia Crone. Michael Cook. Bro, you're giving me some, some whack jobs who have been thrown out of every Tom academic Tom Holland circle. is a whack job. He's a whack job. His disciples, Patricia Crone and, and the other idiot, what's his name? Patricia Crone came way before Tom Holland. What? Michael Cook came way before Tom Holland. Anyone who espouses the same understanding as Patricia Crone and the other idiot, who I can't remember his name, is a whack job. Dr. Nikolai Sinai from Oxford University. They Even he's open-minded to the idea that Crone. there could potentially be another narrative where Islam originated uh, miles north. In Petra, I know. That's against the consensus. Well, there's an argument as to whether is Petra or Jerusalem? Do you want me to show you the, the detractors of those individuals? Do you want to hear the names of the detractors? What, what do you mean by detractors? The detractors, the ones who says that they're not jobs, the academic scholars, the mainstream, let me tell you now. Here we go. Dude, yeah. you can find people slagging people off no, all the one. you cannot, not like this. Not like really, this. Really, dude, really? Really, ready? All right, Patricia Crone, died 2015, age 70. Uh, you know she got death threats, right? 
Okay, no problem, so what? No problem, so what? Dude, dude, I didn't say this. No, all my point is, is maybe you got to think like, ha, maybe the there is some kind of bias here, and that's why they don't want her to speak. If she was a nut job, you let her speak, because no one would believe her. But more and more people in the scholarship, uh, in scholarship people, are believing her. People say ridiculous things about Islam Yeah, but they don't day. get threats. Well, they actually, do, actually. they all do, come on. Okay, okay, I agree with you, actually. Yeah. When people make things I, about Islam, they I, do get death threats. I agree, and it actually goes against me, by the way, if I say that. And I know, I know, well, thank yeah. you for saying that. Yeah, so, this, you know, if she gets death threats, it doesn't mean much. It just uh, means that people don't want her to speak. Yeah? Yeah, right, so. People who are the loudest tend to get the death threats, right? People who are influencing people tend to get the death threats. Yeah, obviously, because she has a lot of clout, obviously. Well, yeah, she... she Stephen Hum do you know who Stephen uh, Humphreys is? Stephen... Stephen Humphreys. Uh, professor at US, uh, UCSB, mm. wrote in his analytic review of the history of, history of the early Islam, mm. unsurprisingly, the Crone Cook interpretation has failed to win general acceptance among Western uh, Orientalists, let alone Muslim scholars. Well, because it wouldn't have been Muslim scholars, would it? And I'm also know, not, I'm know, not, say, I'm not yeah. saying that this view is the mainstream view. I'm saying it's gaining more but acceptance. This is a mainstream scholar. Yeah, I know. And he's mentioning that but it's I'm, a mainstream scholar. Even the mainstream scholars now are starting to consider these as options. You've only given me three names of people that I know are part of this clique. Okay, go look at Dr. Nikolai Sinai. He, uh, he wrote a book called. Oh, another one. He's another one, isn't he? Part of that, that group. No, he's not. He's a mainstream he is, scholar. He, is. he gets his information from them, though. No, he's the one that did no. the. Um, no, he rejects, he rejects a lot of he rejects good parts of it, but he's still open-minded to the idea that the origins took uh, to place further north because there's a lot of reasons to believe that. I don't the, believe there's any. There's no okay, the Quran itself describes vegetation that only exists further north. Oh, there's vegetation in Mecca. Okay, okay, so Mecca, Mecca doesn't have viable sources of water to sustain a population going there. It does. Okay, okay, where does water come from? Water can come from the Zamzam well. How much, how much can the Zamzam well support? Zamzam did, the well early, did the early Muslim caliphates not bring, uh, not build um, aqueducts to deliver water from further north to... Uh, Give to me the evidence. Yeah, I can. There we go. Here we go. Who's it from? Who I'll show it? you. It was from a. Uh, I'll show you who it was from. It was from a queen further north, I think. A queen further north. Yes, an Islamic queen. Uh, let me show you. What, what I do know is that the well's always been there. It's not depleting. It will never. No, deplete. no it already has basically. Where? They, they have to build. Uh, they actually. No one says this. They import water from. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the city? Uh, the city to the western. Jeddah. Jeddah. They import water from Jeddah. No, no, no. Do you yes. know what salination plants one are? One second. One second. I'm not yeah. saying that the well is yeah. now going to be used to support the entire nation or the entire world. I'm saying that it's never run out, and it was enough to sustain Mecca and to do farming there and cultivation. They did it for thousands of years. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, sorry about it I being dark. I don't know dark. who this is, by the way. Uh, I have a link for it, that we find it. I'll go to a document. But basically, there was a construction of a kunat. Yep. Started in the 8th century AD and was completed by 801. Um, da -da -da -da. In Arafah, the kunat is about 10 feet alone in the ground. Uh, there were three tanks near the double. Okay, so what? Providing fresh water supply to the pilgrims during the Hajj season. Good. A fresh water water level in the well is maintained. If the water then goes below, the pumping level stops. I think it's about one day. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't, I don't know. I, listen, what I know about the Zamzam well, Chris, yeah, yeah. it's always been there. We believe in the story about Is uh, Is Ismail and what took place there, yeah. right? And it's, it's sustained itself. It's been there since that time. We're talking about thousands of years back. So, I'm not saying that it's yeah. going to be used for the entire nation. Right. I'm saying it okay. would be enough for that city. Okay. What I'm saying is that uh, from the earliest times, dating back from at least the 9th century, there were water supply issues. No problem. In Mecca? Yeah. In Mecca? Yeah, from the Zamzam well. Yeah. I don't know about that. I, they don't, they don't I will ask you to look it up. Because it's still there. I can yeah, it's still there. I, you can't it, go, by the way, but I can I know, go there. I, I, I can't you can't go. go. I can go, yeah. and I can see the well. It's, it's a there. fault of Islam that I can't go. Yeah, you, you can go to Rome if you want to. You go to the Vatican if you want to. Vatican, no. you, can go, you can go to the same area, though. You're not for, for, forbidden from an entire city. Okay, but there's a part in there that I can't go. You can't go into the Haram, but you can go to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but I can't go to the entire city. I can't go to the entire city, dude. Uh, no, you can't. Like, if there's actually there's, a motorway yeah. and it says, uh, basically, if you're not Muslim, don't go this way. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. There you are then. It's the same concept. How is it the same concept? In, I already told the, you, you can go, go to the same to the city. You can go to the city, the papal state. But I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, 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 know I can't any go everywhere. atheist can go there. I can't go everywhere. Can an atheist go to Mecca? Uh, it, well, no one knows that you're an atheist. You can go wherever you want. Yeah. Well, I know that practically happens, but yeah. my point I mean, is, you can is pretend that... to be Muslim and go if you want, and then what? do some, whatever you want to do. I don't know if I, maybe I'll convince them. I don't know, but I don't know. Listen, yeah. um, my point is this: the Zamzam well has historically needed to be supplied. It, it period. Didn't say, by okay. the first I, I, I invite, I invite, I I invite the, the people. From. I'll put the source on the. Yeah, I'll put yeah, the source on the screen. I'll put the source on the screen. But I invite you to look at this because the claim that the Zamzam well. 
I've okay, then you there. should know this. No, it's not because it's not mentioned anywhere. That's why I'm so confused because it's not mentioned there. The Saudi authorities don't mention anything like no, that. No, the Saudi authorities do. No, they don't. They, they've made news articles where they openly talk about it. No, they don't. Yes, they I don't say it. They do. Saudi, I can promise the you, they ministry, do. Any ministry in Saudi Arabia would never say anything like that. They do. Yeah, Asia, they just don't want to talk about it in religious time. Well, I, I've never seen anything like that. The Zamzam well is still going. It's always been going, and. Uh, so it's aqueduct in Saudi Arabia, yeah. and there'll be a history about it. And this is the paper that I'm referring to. Okay, who, who um, wrote this paper? It's by by King Saud University. No, this guy, someone at King Saud University. Yeah, um, this guy as well. Yeah, please, please say. And it's been cited. It has 1,300 citations. Okay.